Song in Focus is produced by Pai Musiquero, a space for music information, instruction, and inspiration. Follow them on their FB page and subscribe to their YouTube channel. And Passion Fruit Collaborations, your podcast and brand creative collaborator. Follow them on Instagram to get your passion projects going. Want to learn a new skill? Join Paying Musiqueras Learn from a Pro, wherein you'll be coached by learned and skilled musicians who plays and perform for top artists in the music industry today. We are opening our bass for beginners, drummit for beginners, piano and keyboard classes. These are all for 10 sessions. I'm also opening my 3-day songwriting workshop. Just head out to payungmusiquero.com for more details. Reserve your slot now, so go to payungmusiquero.com and learn from a pro. Hi, ako po si Yen Constantino and today's song and focus is Kumapi. You are listening to the Song and Focus podcast by Paya Musiquero and Passion Fruit Collaborations, where we dive deep into your favorite tracks. I'm Denise Lau. Hi, I'm Asel. And today, we have an artist coming back for the second time at Song in Focus, sharing her first release this year, 2021. Yang Constantino is here with us today to tell the stories behind Kumapi a song that inspires us to hang on and find strength during the darkest hours of our lives. So welcome back, Yang! Hello! Hello! hello, hello. hello again. Thank you that you gave us. Oh, naman! You <laughs> And I just want to say na congratulations because sa mga success na naaabot ang inyong show since nung first season na nag-guest ako dito. Nakaka-proud, nakaka-proud yung ginagawa ninyo. And Thank nakaraang you. araw, before before pa ako dito mag-guest, nung nag, nagpasabi kami ng star music kaya at SL, sinabi ko talaga na ang, ang laki pa ng future ahead, sobrang mm-hmm. dami pang pwedeng mga artists na mag-guest, yung mga fans na super curious about mga particular songs na favorite nila from mga artists na to. Ang sarap ang pagkwentuhan. So, I'm like, really looking forward sa ilalago nyo pa. Pero, so far, congratulations. Grabe. Grabe para sa independently produced podcast. Ang lay-lay nang narating ninyo. So, nakakatawa talaga. At dahil yan sa mga artists katulad mo ng season one who really, ano, said oh. yes. No, mm. when we were asking Wala you, pa kaming no? Facebook page umu oh, na si Yeng sa amin. Oh, oh. No, <laughs> like, la, la, proof of concept. Concept, concept pa lang kami. Tinext ko na siya. Alam, Yeng, okay ka lang. Eh. Pwede ba kita i-guess? Yan. Nag-guess na siya. So, isa si Yeng sa talagang mm. supporting uh, what we're doing. So, thank you din, Yeng. Thank, thank you, you so much. Sobrang happy talaga ako para sa inyo. <laughs> Yes. yes. And happy din kami so, because you have a new start. song. Ayan. Yes, yes. Yes. Excited ako to ask so many things about Kumapit. Uh, uh, actually, before ito na schedule, we even tweeted the lyrics kasi I was looking at the new songs mm-hmm. sa Spotify as usual. And then narinig ko yung Kumapit. So actually, sinabi ko na kay Asel na, uy, may new song si Yeng. Parang, ayun, ang ganda. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang, mm-hmm. I was also going through something that time. So parang nanarinig ko siya, parang, ayun, fairness. Ganun. Kaya we tweeted it sa Twitter. We we, mm-hmm. we share sometimes great, amazing lyrics. So yun. Mm-hmm. So, oh, what is it about ba? Uh, parang, why did you write Kumapit? Sinulat ko to yung beginning ng pandemic. Sobrang uh, layo namin niyan. Nasa probinsya kami. Kasi medyo paranoid ako kung ano bang mangyayari talaga sa pandemya. Baka mamaya maging parang post-poc. Ano, apocalyptic yung oh. mag set na ng mundo, parang zombie. <laughs> Kakapunod ko siguro na baka zombie, <laughs> ano, mahilig ako sa so, walking dead, oh. Oh, kingdom, oh. yung ano, ano, world war. Into Busan. Okay, <laughs> Busan, di talaga sobrang hilig ko. Kagabi nga may pinapunod ako Busan. bagong zombie, ano. Meron akong... Yung ang tawag dito, Black Summer sa Netflix. Zombie series din siya. So feeling ko, kakapanood ko ng mga ganon. Nahilig talaga ako. Yung paranoia ko, ibang klase. Sabi ko kayo, 
Ayaw ko umuwi ng Manila kasi hindi ko alam ko anong kakahinatnan. And trivia, akala ko talaga maging end of the world na. Sabi ko kaya, lahat bumili tayo ng lambat para kung wala na tayong makakain, ma- mamimingwit na lang tayo. <laughs> mga oh my God! So may Wait, lambat so, nga kayo sa so, bahay? Ayan, talaga? Mer- meron kami oh lambat dun sa, ano namin, sa probisya namin right now. At wala, wala naman siya naging gamit kasi after three months, bumalik naman kami sa Manila. Nakita namin na parang, ah, okay lang pala. It's not as bad as pinipredict ng mind ko. So, we were so far away. And, you know, just watching mga videos sa, sa YouTube, Facebook, ano nangyayari sa Italy noong time na yun. Talagang grabe yung surge ng, mm-hmm. ng virus sa, sa Italy. And grabe talaga yung nakinik, nakikita mo parang, daming katawa na kinikremate in a day, oh. pile up ng bodies. Tapos, I see a lot of posts on Facebook. Tapos, yung mga frontliners natin, hirap na hirap. May, may particular photo ko na nakita eh, yung isang frontliner natin, nakaupo na lang sa hallway sa sobrang pagod. Parang doon na siya mm. take ng break. Sobrang, it, nag, nag-break talaga yung heart ko. Add mo pa yung mga families na namatayan. So, yung mm. first wave ng virus yung suffering. Tapos kung gaano kabilis, parang three days before kasama pa yung minamahal mo sa buhay and then after ilang araw, hindi mo na makikita kasi hindi ka naman makakapunta. Mm. Parang anong klaseng mm. traumatic experience yun para sa mga taong talagang first hand na nakaranas nung bagay na ito. And just watching that, siya, ano ako highly empathic kasi ako na tao. Talagang na-feel ko talaga sa heart ko ay, ay parang ano siya eh, Alam mo yung parang nag-boil lang from within my soul. Tapos lumabas na lang sa mouth ko yung, yung lyrics. Ang bilis ko lang, and, and this season, hindi ako mabilis magsulat ng lyrics. Ha? Ay, hindi ako katulad nung bata ako talaga na bilis ko sumulat ng kata. Dati 30 minutes, tapos ko na. One hour, tapos ko na. It would take me months to finish a song. But for kumapit, na, natapos ko siya isang upuan. Siguro mga two, two and a half hours yata. Hindi ko na matanda, pero it was so fast. Kasi nandun, kargado ka ng emosyon eh. Sobrang hirap talaga. So, dun, dun nang galing yung song. Dun siya pinanganak. Sa, you mentioned na you wrote kumapit na lumabas lang siya sa'yo yung lyrics. Parang, ano yung, dun sa buong song, ano yung lyric na nag-start siya with? Like, ano yung unang pumasok at nasulat mo na? Na word. Na, nandun na. Yung mga words. Ano, pra, parang part, natapos ko siya as, ano, beginning to end eh. Kung paano ko siya niran in my head. Parang it was, ang una sa lahat siguro, siguro, I can't really remember kung ano yung state of mind ko nung sinusulat ko. Basta alam ko lang, ay, as I, natandaan ko right now, parang, nag empathize lang ako sa mga tao. Pero, ang alam ko ah, Parang nag-flow lang siya from first stanza, chorus, second stanza, chorus, and then finish. Parang ganun siya, bridge finish. So, so as in, then parang from beginning to end. Oo, oh, kaya nung, ang sarap ng feeling nung lumabas yung chorus. Kasi nagsasabi ako ng story sa umpisa eh. Anong klaseng person yung kumakanta nito? So, di ba yung stanza okay, ko? So the, sa gitna the ka na ang kadiliman. kadiliman. Parang di na matatapos ang anino ng kamalasan. Um, tapos biglang, ati, ah. Kumakatok sa langit ng dasal. Talagang hinahatid niya lang eh. Sa Parang malapit ng matapos ang gulan. Kaya nung lumabas yung chorus, ang sarap na feeling kasi biglang, biglang lumipad eh. Kumapit ka, di ka nag-iisa. So parang, that's another voice. At the person... Yung, yung sa stanza and pre-chorus, parang yung person na nag, nag, nagkukwento ng... Basta nung lumabas yung chorus, sobrang sarap talaga nung feeling. Kasi parang ibang person siya na nagpapayo dun sa kumakanta ng stanza in pre-chorus. So when you were writing it, hindi mo pa nasa isip yung chorus. I mean, okay, it just flowed na parang, mm-hmm. oops, lumabas yung chorus after the, the mm-hmm. pre-chorus. Mm-hmm. So parang may, may ganong feeling na nag-flow lang ako. It's very rare na talaga for me to do or to write a song like that. Hindi, hindi na ako ganyan na songwriter. Eh. And it feels good na may matapos ka na kanta na ganun kabilis. Lalo na ako naturally, totoo yun para sa mga songwriters, when you are really charged up with so much emotion or empathy for people or ikaw na nakaka-experience nun, mas madaling isulat. At least for that, doon sa na-experience ko, ah, ganun, yung, ganun yung naging flow ko dyan sa kanta na yan. 
I saw dun sa um kasi I saw the YouTube uh, post mo mm-hmm. ng when you wrote it last year. It's it says there na yung music ginamit mo is yung touch of heaven. Uh how did it start? Like you said lyrics ba na with a melody in mind or it started when you were listening sa touch Oo, of heaven kasi yung touch Paano of yun? heaven di ba dami ko pinapakinggan na kanta ng hill song pero actually yung touch of heaven hindi ko pa siya napakinggan so i was looking okay. for 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 hmm. for a piano parang piano kasi wala ko wala akong nadalang gitara sa ano eh parang Napagdala ba ako? Wala akong instrument yata. Wala kang gitara, ito. sinabi mo dun sa video. Na Oo, ito. wala. Wala akong gitara. Wala akong gitara, walang way para gumakagawa ko ng instrument for this. So, parang naghanap ako ng piano track. Parang kailangan ko lang ng isang piano track. Tapos, nakakapakinig ko, nakikinig kasi ako ng mga worship songs dun eh, particularly battle music tsaka hill song. Tapos, naghanap ako, sabi ko, ano yung mga pwede kong magamit na ano, mahiram lang for this particular song. Pero pag, sana, pag nirelease, sana, hopefully, kung gagawin mo siyang track, saka na lang namin babaguhin. Tapos yun, ako hindi ko pa ever narinig tong worship song na to. Tapos pinapakagawin ko yung piano. Ako, yun, yun yung pakiramdam eh. Yung ganun, medyo gloomy. Gloomy kind of chords. Tapos numiliwanag sa chorus, yun yung gusto kong flow. Tapos yun na yun. Yun na yung hiniram ko na track muna. So never mo pa nar- So parang narinig mo lang talaga yung piano instrumental nun. Nasulat mo yung song and then after mo pinakinggan yung Uh, hindi, ko na, hindi ko pa rin na papakanggan yung touch Hanggang of heaven. Hanggang ngayon? Until, no? Hindi ko pa na papakanggan. Yung original. Oh so, yung <laughs> instrumental lang. Ito, oh, may good. question ako. Kung hindi mo pa narinig yung touch of heaven, paano ka napunta dun sa touch of heaven? Kasi nakikinig ako ng mga, ano, yun. ng mga hill song. Ah, so, nakita worship. mo lang yung mga Pero instrumental. Yung so, instrumental. Naghahanap ako ng worship, er, instrumental. Ito kasi yung flow na gusto ko ganito. So, naghahanap ako talaga mga betel, hanap mm, ako ng ano, kill song. kill song, ganyan. Tapos, kasama pa ako dun sa mga prayer meetings online. So, nag-worship ako at times gamit mga karaoke lang sa YouTube. Mm, para sa bayan. Oh. Kasi, ah. diba, na, lalo na start ng pandemya, di ba? Bawal na church. Ma- oh. Hindi makapag-church. Tapos gumagawa ng prayer meeting yung mga pastors. Yung, yung pastors namin from Destiny, kumuha sila ng prayer meeting. Tapos parang yan, do you wanna sing a song sa beginning ng prayer meeting natin? So dun din eh. Dun din nag-start yun na nakikinig ako at nagtitingin ako ng mga worship karaoke sa YouTube. Tapos tinitingnan ko, ay ito, maganda tong kantang to. Sige, pwede ko to kantahin. Kaka-click mo kasi lumalabas sa gilid yung recommended mga iba, oh, recommended, recommended worship ano, worship instrumental or worship karaoke. So lumalabas mm. din sa side. So yun, kaya doon ko nahanap. Oh nga, but hindi ko pa nga napakinggan yung Touch of Heaven. Pinakinggan Pina- ko. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko siya alam. Pinakinggan ko after, sabi ko, gano kaya kalayo? Tapos medyo andayo ah. Tapos like, syempre obviously hindi mo ka narinig kayo. So malamang malayo. Oo, oh, oh, so, Sabi ko kay Asel, well in fairness pwede ah. Like, mag-isip ka talaga ng random stuff. Hmm. Uh, before mo narinig, hinanap po instrumental fit for the melody written or the lyrics you've written or you heard hindi, the... Hindi, hindi. Pinakinggan ko yung piano piano progression. Bago ka gumawa na. Unang una, naganap ako ng feeling na sasakto dun sa napifeel ko. Kasi wala ako dalang instrument eh. Tapos pinapakinggan ko, click ako ng click. Ay, ito hindi eh. Ito, ay, hindi eh. Ito kayong next one. Tapos parang, ay, hanggang nakarating na ako sa chorus. Ayun, lumiwanag sa chorus. Tama yun, tama yun. Okay, sige, gawin ko na to. Tapos sa kakagumawa. Pin, piniplay ko lang siya. Piniplay ko lang sa through YouTube. Tapos pinapakinggan ko. Tapos ako sinusulat yung bawat lyrics. Gusto mong tapos, sabihin. O, tapos papos ako. Hihinga ko. So ulitin ko ulit yung sinulat ko. Tapos pag niran ko, mag-flow na naman to the next. Tapos rewind ko ulit yung, yung, kinan, yung sinulat ko. Kakatayin ko hanggang sa mag-flow ako to the next. So parang pabalik-balik ako sa umpisa, maging pre-chorus. Umpisa, maging pre-chorus, chorus. Umpisa, Pre-chorus, chorus, bridge. bridge. Para naging ganun siya. Kunti-kunti, binabalik-balikan ko. Is this the first time you did this? Ano? Oo, oo, kasi Writing wala akong... Oo, oh. oh, oh, wala kasi. Usually, kapag hindi ko alam yung chords, kukuha ako ng arranger. Tatawagan ko. Parang punta ako sa bahay mo. Ngayon sa Ateria, o oh, sorry. Ateria, meron akong kanta. Hindi ko alam ko ano yung chords. Kasi limited lang din yung chords na alam ko. So, I would go to her house and just sit. Tapos sabihin ko na hindi yan yung chord, si eh. Parang hindi ganun yung progression. Alam mo yung na-adjust mo along the way. Kasi, mm. 
may may arranger ka for, ko naman oo oh, for piano or for guitar naman mm. ang kasama ko pag hindi ako yung nagsusulat o may may progression ako na naririnig in my head ang kasama ko lagi yung best friend ko si Paul so parang Paul hanapin mo nga to magkakantahin ako melody hanapin mo nga yung chord na lumalabas sa particular word na to asa dami na aming mapupuntahan mm. kasi ang daming possibility pero yung particular mm. emotional uh, kakambal nung note na yon sa heart ko yun yung kailangan namin mahanap specifically. Pero for nitong time na to, wala eh. Wala, wala akong, hindi ko mapuntahan. Nandun ako sa probinsya. Wala talaga. So, ito yung first time na nagawa ko siya. Kaya, nilagay ko rin talaga credit sa in the end eh. Parang, uh, ito, borrowed yung music nito sa piano mm-hmm. ng Touch of Hillsong. Heaven. Uh-huh. Hillsong. Yeah. That works pala, no? Sabi ko nga, oh, tama naman. Kasi it's just progression lang naman eh, di ba? Hmm. Tapos, pag inarrange mo na siya, Pag, so, pag nagsama ka na ng, ano, ng arranger or producer, doon mo na babaliin yun. Kasi, oh. kasi maraming mga chords doon din sa kanta na parang, okay naman. Kaso lang hindi mo na ma-adjust kasi yun na yung na progression. Eh. Oh. Oo, kaya pag pinakagawa yung Touch of Heaven, tapos itong arrangement na ginawa namin nila Kuya Jonathan, maraming chords na iba kasi yun yung tamang pakiramdam eh. Hindi kami parang may 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 progression doon na naguulit-ulit lang yung chords. Hindi na masyadong hindi na naging palitan ng apat na chords. Kasi hindi hindi na hinihingi ng song eh. Which mm, which I hindi agree. Na oh. Yeah, which I agree. Oh nga, hindi na hindi na papalit-palit ng chords kasi ito na yung bagay na bagay dito sa melody na to. So how was that process with Sir yeah, John Ranger? Kami ni Kuya Jonathan at si Tim yung um, sound guy namin sa office yung nagtrabaho yung sa mixing at saka doon sa vocal arrangement kami ni Kuya Jonathan. Ano, as usual si Kuya Jonathan, nakakapagod kasi ang dami niyang ano eh. Pinagawa sa iyo. Oo, alam mo yung si Kuya Jonathan, yun talaga forte niya eh. Ano, vocal arrangement. Saka perfectionist yan. Oh. Perfectionist. Oh, Totoo. Oh, hindi siya, kahit panong sa'yo, okay na, okay na. Hindi, hindi pa okay. Totoo. Kaya kung, kung ikaw yung type ng singer na gusto mo ng challenge, gusto mo i-expand yung um, vocal arrangement ng katawan, si Kuya Jonathan talaga yung mag-work ka with. Kasi ang dami niyang narinig na mga notes na hindi mo narinig. Minsan nga hindi ako familiar at all. Kapag sinabi niya na, Yeng, for the backup, ito narinig kong ano, backup vocals. Ha? Huh? Paano? Si kakantayin ko sa iyo. Kakantayin niya sa akin paulit-ulit kasi hindi nagre-register sa brain oh, ko. Ma- ma- oh. oh, hindi kasi siya part oh, ng makuha. influence ko. Pero medyo nakakapagod pero at the same time pag tapos mo na sobrang fulfilling. Anything naman din na pinaghirapan mo kapag natapos mo na parang may ganung feel. <gasps> ah, wow. Nabuo siyang parang Lego nung umpisa parang skeleton pa lang. Tsaka ano, na surprise ako talaga sa arrangement noong unang pinarinig sa akin ni Kuya Jonathan. Honestly, Nung ilalabas tong kantang to, I thought it's going to be a single lang para sa isang worship album ng CB and Asia at saka ng River Worship. Hmm. Hindi ko naman alam na para ilalabas nila a single for the season. Parang ganun. Wala, wala akong idea. Kaya medyo na-pressure ako. Sa ko, Jonathan, ba't biglang yung lahat na parang biglang ano, nakatutok na sa akin? Akala ko si Natito Gary yung gagawa ng ganito. Sabi niya, ay hindi kasi gusto nila isa-isa lang per single. Tapos hindi ako masyado hmm. nag-expect na parang sobrang... Uh, in granding areglo kasi nga akala ko talaga single single lang yung, alam mo yung parang simple lang pero na, ang sarap ng feeling nung narinig ko na yung areglo nung pinaring ito na yung yung bagong arrangement what do you think at the moment na narinig ko yung arrangement sino nag-arrange ang ganda sabi ko yun yun eh, yung parang kumukulog kasi para siyang yung song it speaks about going through a storm diba pagsubok it should feel like that, ganun ka dilim. Tapos lumiliwanag, tapos dumidilim, lumiliwanag. Kuwang-kuwa talaga. So, ayun, happy ako. Happy ako sa work namin sa studio. Pero it took only parang hmm, five hours lang namin ni-record. Tapos din namin agad. Mm-hmm. Five hours na bukas. Nakakapagod actually, pero buti hindi na nag two days, three days sa dami ng ano, ideas ni Kuya Jonathan. Yun. <laughs> Yung, nung ni-upload mo siya last year, narinig ba, ni, narinig ba siya ng star music? Sabi nila, oh, yung ano, produce natin to. Or ikaw yung nagparang abot sa kanila na, oh, parang I have another track if you guys wanna consider. Parang, 
para umabot sa point na parang finally produce nila um, Sir Jonathan Manalo. They were looking Curious for ano, a song talaga na ilalabas. Ako, parang hindi, nung, nung sinulat ko yung song na yan, hindi ko inisip na parang gagawing single or parang gagawan pa ng ano. Meron lang sa head ko na parang, pag inarrange to, gusto ko na ano, ibahin yung chord progressions. Parang nasa head ko lang yun, pero hindi ko siya pinlano. Oh, gagawin ko tong single or gagawin ko siyang part ng album. It was just a song for that particular season. Ganun lang siya. Tapos nilapitan ako na kay John na sa nai, mm. nag-aanap yung CD in Asia ng kanta na gusto na lang oh, introduce. Sure. And pinarinig ko sa kanila yung kanta mo and they really liked it. So, okay ba sa'yo na i-record, ano, parang collaboration natin with them? Wala mong balak talaga yung gumawa ng parang record that, that time. Pero yun, nagawa na. Nagawa na namin dahil eh, siguro relationship po rin ko with Kuya Jonathan. Ano mo yun? Relational din kasi. Parang si Asel yun eh. Si Kuya Jonathan mm-hmm. oh, Sobrang relational na minsan pag may sinabi siya parang, oh, sige game! <laughs> Wala pong concrete na plan. Sige game! <laughs> kasi para kapatid mo. Tapos yun, nagdire-diretsyo na from there. So music video shoot. Um, recording, ito na nga, mga promos na para mas maraming makinig. Kasi napansin ko na yung cover art mo, parang may sumasaguan. Sagwan, Tapos yun din no? yung kinuha mong parang um, siguro imagery when you started the song. Uh, may I ask lang, baka kaya saguan? Parang may oh, reason. Wala, ko, wala akong kagagawan sa cover art. <laughs> Kailangan ko lang kami, wala akong kagagawan doon. Hindi rin ako marunong mag-drawing. So, yung star music yung may kagagawan yan, nagpasa sila sa akin ng mga cover art na pwedeng pagpigyan. Wait lang, titignan ko nga dito kung ano ang ganda kaya. Options. Marami sila pinasa na options eh. I think it's because yung lyrics mo kasi doon yung pinipilit mong sumagwan, hmm. sinasalubong ang kawalan. Totoo. Di mahanap ang kasagutan. Pa, yes. Meron pang option yan eh. Bukod dun sa babaeng nagbabangkas. Sasaguan. Oo, nag, nagsasaguan. Parang meron pang ibon lang. Tapos sinamahan nila yata ng ibon. Ah, ito. Um, parang, alam niyo yung painting na parang yung God tsaka yung human. Ah, oh, si ano. Ah, ah si, parang... <laughs> Y- yung si Michael. Ito yung hand na nagtatouch. Nagtatouch yung human tsaka yung hand ni God. Tap, may ah. Either si Michael Angelo ba yan? Pero alam ko yun. Oh, creation uh, yun, no? si God. Uh, tsaka yung man. Ko after. Oh. Yes, yes. Tapos meron yung isa din. Ganun din yung study. Tapos may lyrics naman sa record nung kumapit. Pero cross, yung pagkakasulat, parang nasa style ng cross yung background. Mm. Tapos pero nung nakita ko yung bangga tsaka yung yung girl. Yun na yun eh. Oh. Ay, ito, ito talaga siya. Ito yun. Ito yung feeling na yun. Parang your your ano, ano ang tawag doon? Nag nag naggaganon ka against the, ta- the tide. Ag- against the wave, ah. the tide. Oo, oh. oh, oh, parang ah, ah. hirap. Against the flow. Yeah. <laughs> yung sinabi mo na y- pinipilit mo sumagwan. So yun yung nakita mo in your head while empathizing. ba diba, sabi mo kasi nag-boil up lang yung emotions mo. Oo, oh, tsaka siguro uh, dahil nasa beach din kami nung time na yun. Ah, yun. Yun nga yung tatanong oh. ko. Bakit yun yung naisip, at naisip mo? Niya, meta, at naisip metaphor. niya mga minguit. Oh, oh. At, at naisip ko kasi mga minguit. Ba, diba? <laughs> Hindi nga tayo yun. Feeling ko siguro yung kaya, paranoia yun. ko. <laughs> nasa beach tayo sa minguit. Tapos like sa guan yung ang ano man. <laughs> baka, baka yun yun eh. Tsaka feeling ko yun talaga, yung picture sa head ko, ocean lagi. Kasi nga, ano. Parang nalulunod. Oo, kasi nandun kami sa beach. Tapos parang yun yung mga metaphors na naisip ko sa head ko. Mm. Actually, nag, ano, nag-tweet kami. Uh, si hmm. si din kahapon, no? nagtatanong kami sa fans. Like if they have questions. Mm-hmm. No, na gusto nilang itanong for you. So, uh, meron, siguro I can... Pwede ako mag-start ng isang question. Sabi. Twitter username reading challenge. Oh. Inisip ko yeah. yung tagabi. How do I read this username? Uh, so, so um, mauna si Asel. Oo oh, nga. This is a question from <laughs> Yang, Yangel o Yangel. Or Yangel. Sabi. Yangel. <laughs> sabi niya, sino po ang unang nakarinig sa kumapit? So, when you wrote it, siguro that's what she meant. No? Sino yung una mong pinaringan? Of course, si Yan. Tama si ba? Si Yan lang Or... kasi kami yung dalawa <laughs> din eh. Wala lang. <laughs> 
Wala ko wala ng magsa. <laughs> Kasi outside 'yan. Outside, outside 'yan. Outside 'yan. Outside 'yan. Yung mga pusa namin na nakasama <laughs> namin doon. Tsaka yung mga ibon, siguro tsaka yung kapitbahay. <laughs> Hindi ko alam eh, pero kami na lang yung magkasama doon sa beach. So, ano siya ba naman niya? Na, uh, wala, kasi producer din siya yan eh. Parang, oh, okay, okay lang ba? Ganun, Ganun lang. lang. Ganun yeah. lang mag-react yun eh, no? Ganun lang siya, stoic kasi na... Pag, oh, pag, 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 <laughs> na pag hindi pa ano, niya narinig yung, ano, yung full picture, parang hindi siya mag-react ng sobra. But I, I don't think he was that impressed. Oh my gosh, alam ko yun. Kasi may, But, may mga times, oh, may mga times na pag pinarinig ko siya ng kanta, mag-react talaga siya na, labag ganda ng kanta mo. Pero for this, mas nag-react siya na narinig niya na yung areglo nung sa CBN na. Ay, ang ganda. Okay ah. Uh, okay. Sa nitong wala. Sa nitong wala. Yung una. Sa nitong wala. Kasi ganito lang. So-so. Ganun lang. Okay. Pwede. Pwede naman. Ganun lang. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. Pero nagustuhan niya yung mga Wait, lyrics. Yung mga, ano, mga part. Okay yung salitang yun. Saan mo nakuha yun? Medyo curious siya. Dati. Example ng words. Siguro ganun. Parang, um, ah, di siya yanig sa yung galit. You know hey. what? That's my favorite line from your Ako din. That's from your song. Line. That's why I I when I shared it, yun yung inuna kong line dun sa quote. Kasi that that line captured me listening oh, to it. Wow. So so yeah, so yun din pala yun na pansin niya. Kasi it is it's ano eh, parang hindi siya inaasahan mm-hmm. na sasabihin if you're talking to God, like mm-hmm. parang you're gonna parang challenge or parang nato challenge yung tao na oh sige magalit ka magalit ka sa kanya pero hindi siya yan eh mm. diba parang ang It's ganda no ang ganda no thank you ay ano since we're talking about that I think yun din yung isa sa mga natutunan ko sa faith ko kasi I used to be so perfectionist and very religious and sometimes when I make a mistake paglalapit tao ay God punong puno ako ng shame So para I always try to be perfect, to be the good daughter, to be to be that person. I sobrang performance based. Mm-mm. Pero once mm-hmm. na nalaman ko na parang God is not offended. God is not offended even at times may question ka. Hindi siya yung tatay na. Dapat di mo ako kine question kasi tatay mo ako diyan hanggang diyan ka lang. Pero all the more na nagtatanong ka sa kanya, all the more that he wants to show who he really is. So parang, the, actually gusto nga ni Gadin eh, pinagtatanong ka. Okay sa kanya kapag comfortable ka magalit around sa him. Kanya. Kasi ibig sabihin magkaibigan kayo. Meron ka bang kaibigan na hindi ka pwede magalit sa harapan? Di ba plastikan yan? Parang gano'n, mm. plastik mo naman. Hindi pwede magalit sa kaibigan. Oh, okay. Nag-away na nga kami ni Yen kung alam niyo po. <laughs> <laughs> Maraming beses na, hindi naman bilang. So, hindi, hindi mo pwede hindi magagalit. Di ba? Pag hindi ka nagagalit sa harapan ng, di ba, God is our friend. Pero hindi ka pwede magalit. Ano yun? Parang it, it doesn't match up. Parang kung ano yung sinasabi natin. Na parang God's our friend. Pero we are also teaching people to just perform. Parang para tayong slaves. We're not slaves. We're His children. We're children. <clears throat> oh, we're children of God. Di ba? Kaya rin ko, Ate SL, si Natashi, when they get mm-hmm. upset, okay lang maging upset. Kasi anak mm-hmm. mo yun. Parang you ask, why are you upset? He, mm-hmm. Ah, Okay, you have to understand. You you explain afterwards. Hindi mm-hmm. parang, ops, bawal ka magalit. Mm-hmm. Then, masya-shut off mo yung emotion ng anak mo. Then, hindi niya na madideal. Hindi niya na rin makikilala yung sarili niya. Mm-hmm. Kasi healthy, healthy yun eh. Si God din nag-create ng anger eh. Si God din yung nag-create ng grief. Siya rin nag-create ng joy and... and, and emotions. Uh, and, and all the colors of the emotions are from Him. And He also feels those things. May emotion, siya, kasi kinawa niya tayo in His likeness eh. So sometimes, parang ako, natutunan ko in my faith. But I'm so afraid of my emotion sa anger dahil I know parang pagka nagagalit ako, it means I'm sinning. Parang ganun lang. Lagi, after I get angry, guilty ako after. Mm. But I think it's also yan na nagsabi sa akin, alam mo love, kahit ka galit ka ngayon, di naman galit si God eh. Nagalit ka. So, okay lang yan na nagagalit ka. Parang, oo nga, siyan nga yun. Oo nga, before kami ikasal, siya nagsabi sa akin, hindi, hindi, hindi galit si God. O, okay lang yan, nagagalit ka. Okay yan na nagtatanong ka. And, nag, doon ako naging comfortable to get to know God. Mo, uh... Oo, to get to know God, even sa imperfection ko. Parang, hindi ko, hindi yung lalapit lang ako kay God kapag performance 
ko, sobrang ganda. A plus ako. Parang, God, oh, <laughs> yung galing ko, di ba? Good child ako, di ba? <laughs> parang kahit messed up ako, God, ito lang. Ito lang yung, ito yung dala ko sa plate right now. And I know, I can be secured na kahit na feel ko itong mga things na to mahal mo ko and hindi mo ko i-reject. So, I'm really happy na, na, na nasa pool ka doon, Ate Asel. And I hope na yung mga makikinig din na sa na to. Ma-feel din yan. Maging comfortable sila. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. And very powerful. No? Mm-hmm. Parang, hindi ka, parang it's a reminder na hindi nagulat si God. Hindi mm-hmm. nagulat si God na ganyan ang reaction mo. Kasi siya gumawa sa iyo eh. <laughs> diba? Alam niya na, alam niya, ganun ka magre-react. So, so, wait lang, gusto ko lang sabihin. Paano ka magiging passive-aggressive with God and you can't hide anything from Oh, di ba? Hindi mag-content ka, God, I'm not mad, ha? Okay pero lang, lahat na nag-experience ko. Pero alam mo, God, nagingit-ngit ka na inside, eh. Why, wag, wag, ba't di mo kaya itanog sa akin? Or bakit di mo i-express sa akin? Parang okay lang naman na, kikita ko lahat. Hmm. X-ray vision ako, kitang-kita ko lahat. So, parang, oo nga pala. God, kita mo pala. Wala pala ako ba itatago? So, might as well. <laughs> might as Be well. Let's get out. <laughs> Let's get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun sa parang sharing to others. So, gano'ng katagal yung difference nung sinulat mo yung song versus nung pinost mo siya last year, April? Parang ano lang? Parang, parang like, Or within lang. that same night ba? Ganun? Days. Or... Siguro mga two days. Two days, siguro three days pinost ko na. Parang binalikan ko lang yung lyrics, para pinupulido ko lang. Parang, tama ba yun? Tama ba yung rhyming ko? Tapos pinapakinggan ko before, before ako matulog. Parang tama ba yun? Siyempre, kailangan din ng polishing after nung creative flow mo. Para mm-hmm. ano, para mas matahi pa siya. Mas smooth. Uh, hmm. Mas smooth. So, mga two days siguro. Para re-listening, ano, para mga counter-checks dun sa tones and stuff. So, yeah. Get the high, get scared. So, uh, ayun. And one of the great things that you did was you actually donated. Nag-donate ah, kami niyan from our own pocket. Mm. Papadala kami ng mga food mm. sa mga hospitals or sa mga dormitories. Mga ganyan. Kasi may mga na-trap din around uh, UP na mga estudyante. So, ganun na lang. From it's our good. pocket na lang. Kasi walang kinita kayo. So. And, oh, kasi it's, a, it's right it's the right thing to do eh. At that time, talaga lahat, parang di mo alam, kung yung savings ba nito mga batang to, hanggang uh, kailan mo tatagal. So, parang just want to be part of it na mag-survive yung mga bata from the university. So, nagpadala kami na yan. What's your favorite line from the, mm-hmm. that song? Hanapin ko kayo. Ang dami kasing magaganda eh. Like, even in the verses, like, kahit mm-hmm. yung sa sumagwan eh, maganda din mm-hmm. yun eh. And, right. Yung mga pre-chorus. Ang ganda nung kumakatok sa langit ng dasal, sana malapit ng matapos, matapos ang ulan. ulan. Oh. It is yeah. really expressive yung mm. nafe-feel. Oh, nafe-feel ko na yun at one point in my life. Hindi siguro one point, maraming times na parang, God, please let this end. Ditong pain na to, just let this end. Sobrang hirap. God, sana matapos na tong season na to. So hard, God. Help me. Intervene ka na now, please. Parang may mga moments ako na ganun. And I, I, I really thought na maganda yung pagkakalatag uh, ko ng mga salitang Tagalog para ma-express ko yung, yung, yung na-experience ko na yun. And I think marami rin naka-experience. And even yung ano, di mo na kailangan kumatok pagkat nadarama niya rin ang yung poot. I, I really love that phrase. Di mo na kailangan kumatok pagkat nadarama niya rin ang yung poot. So, sometimes, parang feeling natin, parang tayo yung nauuna sa kasi God magre-respond. Which is, meron naman talagang ganong verse. Pero, si Mizan, marinig pa lang ni God yung hikbi natin eh. Parang, anak, nandito ako. To the rescue siya na dad. Ganon ko napifeel. Hindi, yung empathy ni God sa atin, ganon. Na, hindi, hindi siya parang, okay, re-rescue na kita kasi nag-ask ka na eh. Hindi. The moment na na-feel mo yung pain na yan, nandun ako with you. Na-feel ko rin yung pain mo. And I'm, I'm more than willing, gustong-gusto kita na tulungan na maibsan yung pain na yan. Or sometimes, kung discipline yung tinuturo sa ini God, dun sa moment na yon, even may na-feel kang pain, parang God, ang nakikita ko kay God, hinahawakan ni God yung kamay mo through that. 
Di ba kasi may birthing pains? May sabi, gano'n eh. Ang kailangan, kailangan mo lang, may, may mag-hold ng hands mo. There's no other way around it but to go through it. Pero alam mo na nandun si God with you, hawak niya yung hands mo. Yun. Like, kasi yung first na pre-chorus mo, parang ano pa lang eh, like kumakatok. Mm-hmm. And then the second pre-chorus, parang that's the answer na hindi mo na kailangan kumatok. kumatok. Mm-hmm. Oh, so parang merong uh, mm-hmm. sequence na sa narrative ng pagkasulat. Which is really nice. Tapos the answer is, kumapit ka. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. So, is there another question? Gusto mong I magbasa? I may Twitter questions. Hmm. But by at Cyrene Rose, Rose say, or Rosie or something. Sino po yung isa sa mga nagsasabi sa'yo na kumapit ka? Si Yan talaga eh. Si Yan talaga. Siya yung best friend ko talaga. Siya yung kasama ko sa lahat. Even may meron akong tropa. Bukod kay Ate Asal, meron ako mga tropa na galing pang Montalban Rizal. Tapos may mga friends din naman ako sa showbiz. Pero ako, as an introvert, I don't really share what I'm going through with people. Hmm. That, I'm just like that. I'm that way. So, siya yun yung nakakita. Hindi ako makapagtago sa kanya. Isang bahay kami. <laughs> Paano matatago? <laughs> nakikita niya when I'm anxious. Oh, and marami ka pinagtag pinagdaanan together. Siya talaga yung parang, love, you know, this is just uh, arang tuldok sa kabuoan ng life mo. Ito lang yun. Mm. Ito lang yung pagdadaanan mo na yan. And he always encourages me na laging may bagong day. Kung hindi man ngayon, ilang months from now, you're gonna be fine. Yun. Siya talaga eh. Tsaka ano, sobrang, sobrang blessed ako kasi hindi ko lang, hindi, sweet naman kami niyan. Pero siguro ang pinaka-highlight ng relationship namin bilang mag-asawa, yung friendship talaga namin. Yun talaga yung ano, mm-hmm. yung, yung bonding, yung understanding, yung nag-uusap lang kami, yung... <laughs> Kahit hindi niya, kasi babae ako eh, hindi naman ako, hindi mabilis intindihin sa lalaki yung wiring ng babae, no. Pero kahit hindi niya naintindihan, parang love, nandito lang ako ah. Kahit hindi ko naintindihan kung bakit, bakit ka anxious or why you feel depressed right now. If it, if you, even if it doesn't make sense logically, kasi logical sila eh, andito lang ako. Sobrang laking impact nun, na kahit hindi ka naintindihan ng tao, pero alam mo nandiyan lang para sa hindi niya ginajudge yung pinagdadaanan mo. Ang laking impact na nung salamat, hindi mo ako ginajudge. Even if para ang geologues nito or para ang ugly nito ang emotion na to, ang laking impact na sa akin na nandiyan ka lang. Siya yung parang gano'n sa akin, anchor ko. Nagre-remind din sa akin na hindi talaga ako nag-iisa. Kasi even si God at times, ako, oh, I mean, you can, minsan parang God, oh, oh, parang, alam ko by the book na nandito ka, pero di ko na feel di ko na feel right now. So it mm. helps na may kasama ako na nakapapil sa akin ng presence. Kasi nare-remind din ako na nare-relate ko si God doon. Sorry, nag-burp ako. Pero <laughs> seryosin <laughs> mo na sabi, pero nag-dig kayo. <laughs> pero sinabi. <laughs> hindi ko na feel. Hindi naman siya nadinig, <laughs> pero okay. <laughs> <laughs> si Yan talaga, si Yan. Hmm. Um, isa pa, Rosy Cakes by At Rosy Cakes. Ano yung nararamdaman mo habang sinusulat mo yung kanta ate with hearts? Ano, as a songwriter, natutuwa ako sa mga words na lumalabas. Pero as a person na nakaka-feel doon, syempre naiiyak ako sa dalawa yung feel ko. As a songwriter, oh, eh, yung technical part na, ang ganda, ang ganda, ang ganda ng word na lumabas na yun, sinacheck mo. Ganda. Pero isang side doon na kumakanta lang as empathic na person. Siyempre, naiyak ka kasi nabibreak yung heart mo para sa mga tao. Yun. Oh. So, saying that, ano yung pinaka-main, well, we know naman, the title itself says it, na kumapit ka. But, like for you, ano yung pinaka-main message that you want people to really take home or take away from that song? Na good dad sil si God. Sobrang good, good, good father siya talaga. And yun. Yun yun eh. Hindi siya yanig sa galit mo. Hindi siya offended. He is 
looking at you with so much love and may mercy. Yun yung nafe-feel ni God sa mga anak niya. Mm-hmm. Sobrang good, good father si God na hindi siya offended sa'yo. He's smiling at you. And when you're going through something so hard, may mercy sa mata niya, may love sa mata niya, and he's willing to help you. Nabigyan ka ng strength, opportunities, wisdom, and peace. Whatever it is that you need, nasa presence yun ni God. Yun yung gusto kong matake away talaga ng mga tao from this. Nice. I, ako, I felt it. I mean, I'm I'm mm-hmm. not, I mean, I'm more of a spiritual person, but parang medyo super enlightening for me yung sharing mm-hmm. din today. Na, wow. Wow. Um, Okay. Yun lang. Kaya pero na ba? Kaw niya ako. Kaw niya ako. Kaw niya ako. Mag-burp ka ha. Sa gitna. Mag-burp. Na-burp lang ako guys. Hindi naman ako naiyak. Nag-burp lang ako. Napawisan lang yung mata niya. Napawisan. Oo. May gusto. Napawisan lang. Napawisan. Meron pa bang ano? Parang is there anything about the song na we weren't able to ask na it would be nice for the listeners to know about? Ano, naggumagawa ng ganitong project yung yung River Worship, CBN Asia and Star Music together para mag-encourage ng mga tao just because it's not about money, it's not about anything. They just wanna do this dahil meron silang love for their hearts para magbigay ng hope sa mga tao. And we are just instruments talaga para ako instrument lang ako para magawa kung ano yung ini-initiate nila. Hindi hindi lang ako to eh parang part part lang ako no eh marami pa silang songs na ilalabas para makapag-encourage pa ng mga tao. I think Tito Gary, Tito Gary ba? Tito Ogi and Moira already released a song. Tapos I think si Tito Gary gagawa din eh. Isa lang ako sa mga artist na gagawa nila ng ganito na ang talagang gusto nila maparating sa mga tao yung love ni God. So I sobrang astig nun for me. So thank you sa CBN Asia and sa River Worship for doing this. Sobrang laki ng hearts ninyo, ng production team. Si Kuya Jonathan Manalo na mm. walang kaabog-abog. Yang tara, gawa tayo ng ganito. Ano, talagang mm. thank you guys. Sobrang happy ako to be a part of this. Kahit nga, alam mo actually hindi part na napag-usapan namin yung promo. Hindi ko alam na may promo. So, parang ano lang ako, parang sige, promote natin to kasi kailangan mas marami pa mga tao makinig. And thank you sa show ninyo kasi ano eh, ano, ang ganda ng ganitong thorough na usapan about songs and yung opportunity na yun na mapag-usapan yung mga masalimuot na kanto ng pagsulat ng kanta. Ayun, sobrang sarap. Kaya thank you sa inyong dalawa, Denise and Asset. Thank you, no. My mom will really be encouraged by your messages and, you know, yun lang. I just want to thank you guys also for sharing. Yeah. Yun. So, so, ayun, where can they... <laughs> Uh, you mentioned um, Reverb and Star Music sure. and all. So, where can they listen to Kumapit Ka? Kumapit pwede, na, pwede na lang marinig itong song na to sa Spotify, sa Deezer, sa iTunes, sa YouTube, even sa Facebook. Actually, nag-upload kahapon yung CBN Asia. So, sa lahat ng mga streaming platforms, kailangan lang nilang hanapin. Kumapit, Yang Constantino. And it's there if you need someone na may, if you want to feel like there's someone for you in yung song na to talaga ma-feel mo yung presence ni God and also talagang kailangan natin lahat ng hope and I hope na maging instrumental nga itong kantang ito para sa ating lahat para ma-comfort tayo so sana pakinggan nyo na sa lahat ng streaming platforms oh worldwide accessible naman siya so There you go. Thank you so, Thank much, you so much, Yang. Uh, Thank you. Yun. And <laughs> salamat sa pag-share ng heart mo again here. And for being sentimental with us again. <laughs> <laughs> so, ayun. Uh, in fairness, hindi ako umiyak. So, Ikaw yung umiyak oh, ngayon. <laughs> This time, <laughs> season 1, ako, ako yung umiyak. Season 1, ako yung umiyak. Sweat nga Ikaw on the ice. Two. Sweat on the ice. <laughs> Sana sa next na guest ko rito, wala nang iiyak. Oo, oh, oh, wala. wala Masaya. Ano naman, Masaya sa Typhon song? song naman dapat, fun song. Kasi mag-lukot yun eh. Yung TikTok nakikita ko. So, dapat dance track yung next. Feeling ko nga. I vote dance track. I vote dance track. I saw I saw her ano, TikTok stuff. So, fun. Ayan. So, that was Yang with Kumapit. 
Stay tuned in the next few moments as we go to our focus sessions. Want to learn a new skill? Join Paying Musiqueras Learn from a Pro, wherein you'll be coached by learned and skilled musicians who plays and perform for top artists in the music industry today. We are opening our bass for beginners, drummit for beginners, piano and keyboard classes. These are all for 10 sessions. I'm also opening my 3-day songwriting workshop. Just head out to payungmusiquero.com for more details. Reserve your slot now, so go to payungmusiquero.com and learn from a pro. You are still with us for another round of our focus sessions featuring Ian Constantino's song, Kumapit. So, Asel. Uh, I want to talk about yung, yung songwriting process muna. Uh, it's my first time to hear somebody you know, uh, using yung ganon yung instrumental of somebody's work as as mm-hmm. ano lang uh, parang uh, so that she can work dun sa song na gusto niyang isulat it's just that mm-hmm. uh, wala siyang guitar yung pagiging resourceful pagiging resourceful niya i like that na uh, na parang she really wanted to write a song and she would find a way how to do it na so at least she can have an imagination of uh, yun nga the melody the motifs that she can uh, come up with if there's music. Parang what she did was, di ba sabi niya, she looked for ano yung gusto niya. Hinagana pa siya ng mga instrumental. Nag-choose siya. So, it can work pala, no? And then, saka na lang binago nung may arranger. So, I think that's, uh, for as a songwriter, uh, I wanna try that. No, na like, getting an inspiration. Well, usually naman as songwriters, we get inspiration from others' work din eh. Diba? Mm. Mga pinakikinggan natin, that's why we call it na our music influences. Diba? Mm. We, that's where we get our inspiration from. But to actually use uh, something, no, that, uh, yun nga, yung instrumental, and write using that, as it's a something prompt. new for oh. me. Yeah, diba? So for me, I want to try that and maybe I can come up with something. Uh, right, like what what happened to her. So in ang ganda nung lumbas, kinalabasan. And then saka na lang binago yung ibang chords. No, pero the motifs or yung melody that she came up with, uh, ang maganda. Maganda yung kinalabasan. So yun, yun yung isa about songwriting. Ikaw, meron ka ba dun sa songwriting process? Ako, ano, di ba a fan asked about what she felt during writing it. Tapos sabi niya, she feels two things. Yung as a songwriter, masaya siya. But as a person, parang nas- may yun, may pain. Tapos parang naka-resonate ako with that. Kasi alam mo yung mga moments na pag yung may pain ka, parang pag lumabas sa'yo yung kanta at yung words, parang parang ang saya kasi ang galing parang uy nang galing to sa akin but pag inisip mo din parang ang lungkot nang galing to sa akin <laughs> kasi yun yung yun? daman mo oh. parang pag pinakinggan mo siya uy sobrang ganda sobrang sakit sobrang ganyan pag tumayo ka outside of the song and you know listening mm-hmm. listening to it from the outside outside sobrang yeah. pinsan kahit ako papakinggan ko kanta ko kanta na iba dalawa yun na feel ko din as a listener na parang wow, um, this person, parang sobrang galing niya magsulat, no? Parang na, nasulat niya talaga yung ganito ka-painful na song. And at the same time, may mga days naman na, wow, parang this person must have been through so much to be able to write something so painful and I don't know if I feel happy for for them. Alam mo yun, that's wh- whenever I hear para a heart-wrenching song na alam kong comes from personal experience, kwari kahit nag-hit yan, number one single, tapos sinerge ko kung what it's about. Siyempre, I still do that kahit hindi guess ang song focus kasi I bored ako like that. But, alam mo yun, pag, pag narinig ko sila, sobrang nalulungkot ako. Ibi-wish ko ba na sana hindi mo na lang nasulat tong song na to na sana hindi mo siya pinagdaanan. Or I- iisipin ko na parang swerte ka kasi because of this pain, 
you were able to do something so beautiful. So ako, yun yun, yun, yun pinaka resonate. I think that's the cost, no? That's the cost of uh, being able to write powerful and effective song kasi it comes from someone who experienced it. And yun yung cost nun. Kasi yung, uh, yung pain that you have to go through to be able to write and articulate. Pero ayun, yun yung maganda naman as a songwriter that you, you are able to articulate in words, in beautiful words, what you are feeling and being able to empathize with others who are feeling the same way or who experience the same thing that you experienced. Pero masakit. No, parang you have to go through that pa. You have to go through all that pain. Parang yung mga ano to eh, yung mga writers ng book din at saka yung mga motivational, inspirational speakers ah, na parang, oh, di ba? Oh. Di ba parang ganun din eh na the reason they that they... They have to fall so oh, bad. They have to fall so bad. That's why they learned so much. They became so wise. And now, they're a source of inspiration because of what they've been through. Parang ganun din yun, you know, liba? when you write a song. Mm. The cost of it, na parang, okay, ang ganda nga ng song na sinulat mo, like others na, wow, ang galing mo, ang galing mo, pero ikaw as a songwriter, hindi mo alam kung gano'ng kasakit yung pinagdaanan ko. Paano masulat oh. yan? Di ba? <laughs> parang tama. Tama yung, nga, yung sinasabi niya at sinasabi mo na masaya pero malungkot. Diba? Masaya, oh, nakasulat ka magandang kanta pero masakit. Na yung, I have to go through this. I don't know. But it served its purpose because you are now being able to bring healing also to the listener yes. who can't even process what they're feeling. They can't process, they can't understand. But because you put it in words, you were able yes. to put it in a melody, in words, they were able to process it also within themselves na, yes, that's what I'm feeling. Yes, you did. Sapol na sapol. Oh, alam mo yun, na parang ikaw yung, yung instrument. Oh. Di ba? I oh, mean, oh. it's such a blessing din, di ba? That you are being used like that uh, as a song. Yung, yung mga, may mga moments na, ewan ko na experience, may ako na experience ko na parang habang nakikinig ako ng song, bigla ako maiiyak. Tapos akala ko okay naman yes! ako. Yes! Yes! Tapos oh, biglang yes. parang hindi na ako okay ah. Tapos parang, oh, ah, siguro oh, ito yun. Eh. Ito yung pinagdadaanan ko pala. Kasi minsan hindi natin maharap sa dami mm-hmm. ng trabaho. Sa dami mm-hmm. ng kailangan gawin. Gulat ka na lang. May, may feelings nga pala ako. Tapos, kasi narinig mo tong song na to. So, so yun. Ako, I hope naman. Na, Na-touch yung heart mo. Oo. Oh, oh, kasi, um, well, you know naman na I'm agnostic. And kanina nag-uusap kayo ni Yeng about spirituality, which I respect. And ako I enjoyed kasi regardless naman, there's, for me, like God exists in that sense. But para ang ganda din ng concept na yung lalo na sa friend, ako nagandahan din pala ako dun sa friend. Yung discussion about the friend na hindi mo totoong kaibigan if hindi ka, kaya hindi mo kaya magalit. Ay, if hindi mo kaya ipakita true, yung really. worst side hindi, of you. <laughs> Oh, uh-huh. hindi pa kayo there if you you can't uh-huh. tell them na, hey, you crossed a line or, hey, I didn't like how you talked to me or, did you do this to me? And you could confront them head on. What is the truth, di ba? You could just ask them, is this true? Ganun. So, yun. Ako gusto ko yung part na yun ng conversation nyo. I think that was um, parang, alam mo yun, a good reminder to all of us that love comes in parang different colors does it make it's not always red uh, if it's it, if it's one shade then maybe it's not true love i mean di naman lang about like romantic or it could be about friendship if it could be about family di ba na you'd understand where the intimacy is whether it's with ayun in, in, in yang's case it's god di ba you'd understand the level of intimacy and trust when you've seen or where, when you can express fully, I think the good measure din talaga to the level of love and trust. Yun nga. Regardless of whether it's your friend, it's your loved one, it's God, and anyone around you, yun, is if you could get mad at them at alam mong di sila, yun nga. Going to your next point, mayayanig <laughs> sa, sa inyong galit. Sa inyong Ayun, galit. Gusto ko rin siya. Maganda Uh-oh. talaga siyang point. Sobrang, sobrang powerful. Yung when I 
first listen to the song. But I like yung, ano, yung, yun nga, yung sa di siya yanig sa yung galit. Uh, so, as a Christian kasi, parang, before, no, before I became a Christian, like, I mean, okay, paano ba to? Kasi as a, as a Filipino, no, we are considered mm-hmm. as a Christian country. Yes. So, I grew up as a Catholic. And, mm-hmm. um, so, growing up, I was, I was trained and I was taught what is good, what is right, or what to do and what not to do. The mm-hmm. do's and don'ts, the do's and don'ts. So it's all about rules. So okay. and also being a uh, performance basis, yung awards or, or alam mo yun, lahat you have to do good. Based on the perfect. commandments. Oh, but, yeah, diba? Hindi ka maabot sa heaven. Oo, hindi ka mapunta. You have to do this, you have to pray this three times or five times or you have to do this to reach. Uh, but when I became a Christian, yun nga, that's when I learned who who really God is. It's totally opposite of what I've, I, I, I've known. Because when I started reading the Bible, I, I mean, knowing God. Yeah, he is God. He's just, he still, he, he gets mad. He, dis- mm. because he is good and mm-hmm. he is love, he hates, he hates, I know, evil because, not because he just, he hates it, but he knows the effect, mm. the effect it brings to us. No, mm-hmm. the hurt that we will experience because of sin. And anyway, going back to Di Sharia Nig Sayong Galit, it, it's a reminder na parang because sometimes even if I know how God loves me and there are things naman as a person you go through life experience bad things. No? And sometimes you have these questions like why does it have to happen? Diba parang bakit kailangan mangyari ito? It doesn't necessarily be about me. No? Kasi sobra din ako yung empathic. Mm. So when I see people suffering it breaks my heart then, no? Like, I get angry. It asks, why? Things na parang suffering, death, and you can't understand, no? Like, why does it have to happen? It's just, you just see na lang na parang everyone, I just remember na parang if I do this or I complain, if I be angry at God, this, this, is the truth na hindi siya yan eh. Because he knows that, and if you're crying, if you're hurt, if you're angry, he's also, he also feels the same way. It's just that, because he is love, and yung mm. love niya, walang, unconditional, walang favoritism eh. Mm. So just because bad yon dapat sa kanya mangyari yun. Mm. Hindi ganun si God. Alam mo yun? And then, the reason bad things happen, it's not even because of, because of him. So we cannot blame him for the bad things that happens to the person. It's just that it happens because we live in a fallen world where sin exists. Mm. And that's why there's sickness, there's poverty, there's death. These are things that he doesn't agree with and he, he is, it's not his will. And that's why he came. That's why he came and sent his son to die so that whoever believes in Jesus will have that life to defeat the death. Kasi yan na eh. Ay, yan na eh. Yun na yung law eh. There's sin, there's death. There's sin. Mm. Okay, then I'll send my son. I don't know if you watched The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe or you read the book. I read it's the about, book when I was in oh, the parang, oh, parang si Aslan. Yeah. Na parang that's the law eh. Pag sino mm. nag-betray, kailangan own siya ng witch. So the, there's this guy, si yung anak, sino yung bata? Edmond, Lucy, I forgot the Peter. But the other boy, yung kapatid, he betrayed. So dapat own siya ng witch. Hindi pwedeng ibaliktad ni Aslan, kahit king siya, sabihin niya, akin yan eh. Hindi, kasi yun yung law. So ang ganawa niya, o oh, sige, papalit na lang tayo. Ako na lang yung kunin mo. Para makalaya siya. It's the same way, that's what God did. So parang I just felt this very strong a reminder na na if you're angry magtampo ka sige magtampo ka magtampo ka kay God pero mamahalin ka pa rin niya yung parang ganun i have those moments tatampo ako mo ang tanga ba ako magtatampo di ba parang ganun pero i always feel that he hindi niya ako iniwan 
parang mm-hmm. ganun lang and it's not being religious but it's more of really feeling his presence mm-hmm. and um, it's a good reminder no, this song yung kaya si Rex siguro kumapit no, na parang it's just a reminder that you can be parang God will meet you where you are at no mm-hmm. he's not gonna wait for you to be good or he's not going to wait for you to be perfect but he is going to meet you where you're at so parang ah, nakakaano lang yun nakakapang assurance assurance uh, oh parang part. assurance na assurance na i don't need to pretend no i hmm. don't need to pretend to be uh good all the time like like i know like what yang experience lalo na hirap pag celebrity pag nagkamali ka as in people will just bash you and cancel Or, you cancel ka na di ba oh. ako and, and, uh, inter- hirap, yeah. diba? yung siguro ako naman what we could learn from it in general in a context na ganito din is na we should also learn how to meet people where they're at I mean ako naman mas general Mm-mm. notion yung grasp ko dito. I understand people make mistakes. I understand we all make it. Some people make it publicly. In your case, di ba? In Yang's, you're, you're very public figures. And our, some people, kahit na private, family, di ba? You, you parang, you break in front of your family or whatever. Or kware, Britney Spears. O, oh, di ba? <laughs> Ayan, di ba? Parang nag-breakdown siya. Oh, or yeah. Lady Gaga. For a while, mm. people would the older people would say that she's not a good um parang good example pero now that people are learning years after na ah, these people were going through something as well that's why they made for some mistakes or at kung mistake man siya i also believe ako personally siguro there's such uh parang may thing naman yung canceling in a sense na may time limit din na you know hmm. sige If you have a stand, diba, you have to let people know na, hey, I'm not for this. Diba? So that they mm-hmm. learn. They understand that what they did was wrong and it's okay to... Mm-hmm. For, for me, temporarily cancel, fine. But to parang cancel a person two years after, three years after, as if change isn't possible, as if our brains don't develop, <laughs> as if you don't learn new things in a year or in a month or in a day, as if you are one person your whole life for the rest, for decades and decades and decades. Like, I, I'm sure anyone who would listen to this would, I'd ask you, di ba? Parang, who were you five years ago? Pwedeng you were better. Why can't you just be that person five years ago if you were better? If you were slimmer or if you were more focused on work or if you had better control, why can't you just revert to being better? Or if you're worse now, or if you're, if you're better now, would you identify yourself as the same person you are five years ago? So regardless if you were are better now or worse now, I'm sure all of us can't be who we were five years ago because we're a product of who we were, what we went through before. And for some, ayun, parang some take three days to learn new habits. Ni man habits, fine, that's scientifically impossible. But some people learn, <laughs> alam mo yun, or realize things in three days. Some take mm. three months. Others sincerely understand it a year or two after. So maybe that time they couldn't see their mistakes, may mga ganun. And pero may mga people naman who understand it a year after, two years after. Na okay, wow, I was really wrong. And we have to learn how to forgive so that more people could be good. Ako that's outside religion. Para lang dun sa mga nakikinig naman na not Christian, mm-hmm. more of ako yun naman. Na, what we In could general. learn then from religion and this mm-hmm. one in this sense na Christianity or ako naman I believe in God. Mm-hmm. But, parang for people lang na alam mo yun, just generally listening um yun i think what we could learn from so many things is number one, the people who love us will either make us realize that we're wrong they're the first one to be mad at us so if someone's mad at you the, supposedly your friend got mad at you for doing something wrong you could also ask yourself are they just getting mad and they betray are they betraying you or are betraying they or just Mad, are they like what are they caring for you and they trust that's that why they're at, oh. that they're that's why they're, that's why they're mad oh. at you because, because they actually angry. care about oh. you oh but anger can can be a sign of love mm-hmm. you can't 
fathom that much hate for someone you, something you don't care about. You know, sabi nga ni CL, wow, <laughs> fan kasi ako ng K-pop, di ba? Na parang, yeah, I'm thankful for the hate because it it's also a, a sign of, alam mo, wasting time on you. So regardless if people hate on you, like, or pwede kung friend mo na feel mo binagalit that, ma- that means it matters, you know? Diba? Ba? It matters to them mag- that mag- kung wala enough, talaga, diba? di parang, wala lang, net ma, they, they really care, oh, doesn't matter. So why well, do I the even have the emotion so either, of hatred either towards really, somebody? Either they really want you to grow, to be better, they could not love you, but you know, they're, it's affecting them because if you're not better, then it's affecting them in terms of politics, whatever, di ba? So, mm. in general, I think yung message naman is very universal pa din na we should all learn to, yun nga, meet each other where they're at. Where they're at. Understand that pwede ka rin mag-complain on your end that you're not happy with other people but do not box them in for years and years that they are forever either be toxic like that. or ganyan. Uh, because they, we all have reasons. We all have lives before us. So, so many things change, eh. It's impossible that we're the same person. So, if you hate a person because of what they did five years ago, I think you're on the losing end. That's what I think. Unless they still do it. Eh, sige, go ahead. Diba? Pero, pero nakakaubos din. Pero okay din naman kung, you know, up to today. But if you have, if it was like one instance, yun. I think yun. naman to kasi, to forgive. yun niya, yeah. I think forgiveness naman is a, a different thing with regards to, to like being angry. So you're ang- you're anger oh. kasi it's an emotion of the, the parang in a way, yun. Uh, mm. Unang unang reaction. Unang, mm. And then forgiveness, parang, yeah, it's a decision. Basta ako, yun, we could learn, you know, how, yun nga, in your case, di ba, how God treats you, we should also treat others that way. Right. Uh, let's Same see. Way. Meet them where they're at. Yes. Yeah. And sabi nga niya, yung kumapit lang tayo. Lagi <laughs> may makakapitan. So, may makakapitan ka dyan. Yeah. Pero, so, before we what? end, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, type song in focus, and then yung mga videos namin. We also upload the interviews there. Some interviews are there. Um, and features and funny moments and so many things. And if you guys want to support us, want to keep us, want to help us keep making content, follow us. Um, following is yes. free. Uh, it goes a long way. So thank you so much. Yon. Asel, your turn. What so, do you want to Yes. Um, yeah, I'm actually well, sa mga nag-podcast, hindi nyo nakikita, but that's why you have to go to the YouTube and subscribe and see the video edition of this interview. And I'm wearing a shirt. Yeah, I am out to change the world. Yeah. I am out so to I'm out to world. change the world. Um, it's it's from CCP. Uh, the reason that I'm I'm really supporting them is because of the cause that they're doing there. Uh, if you buy a, a shirt or anything, sa CCP tindahan, just CCT. C C T Tindahan. Any products there for every purchase, you will help former street children. It's really my heart breaks for children, and that's why this is a, a cause that I really want to support. And so I buy, uh, I buy mga kapati panlinis sa bahay. Madami silang mga products iba iba. Tapos ito, I'm wearing the T-shirt. How to change mm. the world? So you can change the world just by buying, no, just by purchasing any any products there. Counting help will go a long way. So, yun. CCT Tindahan. Follow CCT them sa Tindahan. shop. Yun. Meron sila sa Shopee and Facebook, Instagram. There. Yes, and yes. follow me at Cell Music. A-C-E-L Music. Please follow and subscribe to my YouTube. Yun lang. And stream, 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 stream. Yeah. Yun lang. Ako, I'm Denise Lau Music as usual. Um, if you like what we're saying, I hope you also like what we're singing. Tanan, oh, di ba? Bagong tagline. Yeah. So, yun, we have music out. Rhyming, ah. Um, yes. So, listen to our songs too, ni Asel individually. And together, mm-hmm. we have a song called Ikaw Ay Mahalaga, but we'll talk Mahalaga. about that next time. Um, In general, yun, like we also sing. We're also musicians. So, so make sure to support our music as well. And I hope you guys like our songs. So that's Denise Lau Music, B and I C E L A O Music. Okay? Yun lang. And thank you so much, Sifters. And mm. yun, thank you for, you know, helping us and, you know, for streaming episodes by episodes and finding out new songs with us. Thank you so much. See you guys next episode. Bye. Bye.